Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with the Roxy's Weekly Challenge, week 44. And it is working with some junk mail envelopes. So excited to get going on that. Let's say hi and hugs first though to Susan, Lori, Lorna, and Denise. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, well, I've grabbed some things. I've grabbed some things. Um, I don't know if you watched Rachel's, but she came up with a fun thing, which is to use the back of the envelope. So um, we're gonna just, we're gonna just get these ready. So I'm gonna take off the flap. First things first, flap is gone. And then cut off the back. So sides and, um, ooh, that's a fun window, isn't it? I don't know who this was from. That's a good one. Okay, and then we cut down this, which, don't want to use my cutter for that. I might just to get it some semblance of straight, you know. Be better than me cutting it. Yep, that'll be good. Okay, and so this is the part that we're going to be working with, but also this. So we'll stack those up there. Get a few more ready. Oh, this is another one like that. So, you know what happened there is I got the junk mail and Mike got the junk mail, <laughs> whatever it was. Yeah, I, uh, we do get our fair share, no doubt. So, and I, I've got Mike trained to save the window envelopes. And I try to get to the mail, too, just to see if there's anything else cool that would, like, make a good base for an ephemera piece or something. <laughs> so, yeah. I tell ya, it's kind of crazy what we do, but we like it, don't we? Too much fun. Okay. I don't know how many I'll get done, but I'll I'll just assume I'm going to be very productive and get some made. And then we'll have the bases we can, I can put them in my unfinished pile and we can use them another time. These are going to be Christmas because, you know, that's what I'm working on. And, um... I've got a couple of pages from some journals that I've sort of worked on a little bit here and there off camera. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, let's, let's, do we have any? Here's a good one. One's different. Oops. Um. Anyway, I have some papers that we can do this project with so they can be used in those journals. So yeah, we're just gonna get her done today, get her done. I do love these big Tim Holtz scissors. I like the little ones too that come with that set. Um, I do have this set on my favorite things because I really do. I've really enjoyed them. Okay, there's that one. How about one of these ones with two windows just for fun? Like this one. Okay, I'll put, set those over there in case we get to them. But I think this is probably pretty ambitious here, what we got going on. Okay, 
So today it is a cloudy day and it's cold out there. I took mail to the mailbox and was like, oh, should have had a coat. <laughs> but yeah, it's only 30 degrees, it says. So yeah, we had frost this morning uh, on the grass and roofs and things, but, and it's still there. <laughs> it is still there. All righty. Okay, so I think we are ready. And what Rachel came up with was the idea of having this be like a pocket, which I think is a great idea. And we just need to cut these down so they're going to fit pages because I, by and large, do eight and a half. And this is, this is like nine and a quarter. So... Four and a quarter ish would work. A little over four and a quarter, I think. Let's see. A little more than four and a quarter. Okay, so four. Nope. That was four and a quarter. Four. So let's go four and two ticks instead. So. Yep, four and two ticks. <laughs> so, well, I might have to. So scientific I am, huh? Four and two ticks. About there. Yeah. I like uh, these ones with the round curve the best for this particular project. I think they look kind of cool. So yet another great idea, Rachel. I think you're so smart. Two ticks. And the last one. Four and two ticks. All right. So there we are. We've got our little bases, if you will. So now, oh, I need my glue papers, don't I? And my glue stick. And now we just kind of cover them, is what we do. So I am not going to use the rough edge. I think I'll use my Timmy ruler that's not rough. Okay, so I have this one. This is from Paper Baker Creations. And that side's pretty. That side's pretty, but I will cut off the sign. So I guess we'll go this way with this one. And it's very nearly the right width, really close. So let's see if I just if I just glue down the envelope, we're good to go. Okay. I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> I 
You could sew around these too, just to give them another little layer of personality. gift card out or whatever it is. What is it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, that was just the perfect height. Okay, and then we just give it a cut along where the envelope curves there. I was thinking as I watched Rachel's video, this is kind of fun because it's like the reveal when you get to see it. Yeah, isn't that cute? I do think I'd like to sew around mine. Just give them a little extra something. Of course, I will distress it, which um, I don't know if I'll do them all on camera, but I'll distress them and just sew around them, I think. That's what I'll do. And then the other thing I had thought of is what would, let me see here, like maybe this. Maybe this is the right size. What would a piece of lace look like on these? Yeah, I like the lace on it. I think I'll just go right there with that piece of lace. So I'm basically taking Rachel's idea and just adding a little twisty twisty to it is some lace down there. I'll put, glue that lace on and then I'll sew all around the edges and I think that'll be a fun little side tuck. Okay, so I better, better use the fabric tack, I guess. wide we are here. About there. Okay. we go. I like that. So that one is ready to go on the sewing machine for a little stitch. Okay. Set those there. That's a good place so I don't don't lose them. Okay and then the next one I thought I would do is this. This is um Joey card maker, and it's his nutcracker. Um, his nutcracker digital. Okay, it's a little small. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it on there, and then I'm gonna put lace on the bottom. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. We'll just do a little problem solving while, while we're at it, huh? So 
if your paper's not quite big enough, you can always either collage on the bottom or put a little lace. Okay, so. See how it's hanging down a little bit? Either that or you could cut that off. That's true too, but I think I'm going to put some lace on it. Always a good day for lace. Then I'll save the rest of these pages for something we might collage in each of these journals or something like that. Okay. Okay, so this one's going to go this way on a page, and I just want some little lace for the bottom. Like that. Okay. calling the um, Fabertac into service more than I anticipated here. Okay. So let's make sure we have the right side up. Yep. we go okay so let's see how that now looks on the page like so and then just got a little lace hanging at the bottom love that okay we'll sew around that one as well I think okay and then the last journal, the one that I wanted to do, here it is, is this one. This is a uh, jewel design. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to just get this the white edge off. I wanted this Santa Claus side is the one that I decided I would like. But the I think I might use this one on another one. It doesn't have to be for this journal. It could be for another journal. So let's just take off all the white sides. Be done with that. You know what? I forgot to look at my watch again. And somebody suggested I have a uh, sticky notepad of what time. Yep, I do. I just forget to record it. So I'm going to say we started at about hmm, five or ten after. <laughs> Let's just write that down. Five after w w one or so. We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, five or ten after one. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. I need to get in the habit of that. I just, I forget every single time. Because I'm just anxious to get to, get to do it. Okay. So, this one is going to go this way. And... It too is a bit short, so no problem. I'm just going to put lace on the bottom. I like that anyways. Okay. Yeah, my heater seems like it's running a lot, but it's that cold. 
cold outside. I am grateful for it. Okay, so I'm going to stick this at the top. Up as close to that edge as I can. Okay. Okay, and you know what I'm thinking is let's just go ahead and put one on this side as well. Here. Okay. I am doing another sort of nostalgic Christmas besides the jewel design one. So I think this will go just fine with that. So it's my plan. Okay. So we just have to cut these out. I don't think on the Joey card maker paper that um, sewing's going to show up a ton, but like on these ones, it will. Okay, left an odd little bit, but that'll be good for backing something. So that's going in the backing pile. Okay, oh my, isn't that sweet? And then here's the other one. Aren't those cute? Okay, so let's put some of that same lace at the bottom. Because that's cute. Yep. Yes, yes it is. one just can never have too much lace can ya okay should have had my Fabri-Tac laying on its side but I didn't my bad so excited about these and they'll be so cute sewn around too I think on this one, I'm going to do my little leaf pattern that kind of turns into, um, it looks like Christmas lights. I think that's what I'll do on that one. I can hear my husband. He's hitting the rail outside in the front. He's doing a little raking. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay. So that one gets sewn. That's not going to stick to the other ones. Okay. And then this one will do as well. Super cute. Okay, hey, love these designs. Okay, so there's that one. Now let's also do, I have one more here. Let's do one of Rachel's digitals. I pulled out, like I really like that with the bird and that would, that's gonna be real short for this. So, we will have to just put a bigger piece of lace. But, so there's that. Or I thought this one. This one. And I might like that first one. I wasn't sure with this guy. Yeah, we kind of end up cutting off his beak. So, he's not good. Oh, and then I thought about Santa, but I already have... A Santa. So I think I'm going to go with this one. With the bird. Um, you know, and I've 
um, I've done the altered book with these digitals, but I'm not going to put this in there because, as you know, I'm sensitive about adding bulk to that. So I think I'll just make one for whatever journal and or next year. Because I was thinking, you know, making a lot of um, Christmas ephemera, it would be really nice to have a, a store of it left over. Okay, move it this way. That's, a, that's kind of a lot, isn't it? We might just collage a piece down there. Um, what do I have in my scraps? Let's see. I'm thinking like maybe this. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. I'm just gonna. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a good idea just to put that down first and then. And then we'll do the bigger paper. Okay, so the, we've come up with a few solutions for the short digital, haven't we? <laughs> okay, so that's, that's that. And then we will just... Yes, turn that over. Okay. Sometimes I'm not very good at visualizing. Have you noticed that? Spatially, I feel like I'm challenged. Okay. So now, let's put this. I might need a little more glue at the bottom where the piece is attached. Yep. I actually think just for ease... I'm just going to put some art glitter glue there. Okay. Now we just need to cut it. Probably should have one of these in my idea book. That's maybe what we'll do with this one. Oh, isn't that pretty? So pretty. On the side of the page. Isn't that nice? Okie dokie. And I don't know that I want to sew around this one just because it's, you know, it's got that fun, um, frame there. I don't want to cover that up. Get it inked and see what we think. Yeah, we're going to call that one Done Done. Although, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. I was just thinking, would that be cute there? And yes, it would. <laughs> you always are, you always have the option of changing your mind when you think you're done. Right? I think so. Um... Now, we're going to work on the window part. And we're going to need scraps for that. Luckily, I have plenty of those. Okay, so there is that one. 
those are fun quick easy pockets i mean you could collage the whole thing too but how fun are those let's ink this one up just to see what it'll look like i won't ink the other ones but yeah yeah baby yeah that's it Oh, while I'm thinking about it, I wanted to mention again the podcast that's going to be on um, 49 Dragonflies November 12th, possibly, possibly the 11th, depending on your time zone, but for sure on the 12th. And it's Barbara from 49 Dragonflies, myself, and Joey DeFee having a little question and answer. Questions are from you all on my channel, so that was fun. I don't know if this really needs... I said I wasn't going to do it, didn't I? <laughs> don't hold me to those things, guys. You know me better than that. Okay. Um, yeah, so if we have time, I'll sew around one of those and show you the difference that makes. But we have five pockets in pretty quick hurry. The um, envelopes will be slower because there's collaging to be done there. Okay, let me get my scraps here. Don't need this. All right, so... So let's do one of these big ones for fun. Um, so these can obviously be pockets. We'd cut off a bit and it could be a pocket. Um, they can wind around your page just like others that I've done. Like so. You can do that. So there's, so there's options. Or they could be a side tuck also which I think this one I'm gonna make into a pocket. Whoops, that doesn't go there, that goes there. Um, so I think I want it about, about this tall. And what I'm gonna do is um, cut this off, but I'm gonna glue it so it reinforces. And I'm okay with throwing that away Please recycle this envelope. Well, I'm not okay with throwing that away. It could be a cute journal card. We'll use that as a journal card base. Okay. This envelope is being recycled. You're welcome, whoever put that on there. Okay, so this one's going to be a little tricky because it's just got the little tiny doohickeys. But I have some tiny, tiny bits that we can use that were taken off something or another along the way of this Christmas decorating. Okay, there's one, just like that. Um, let's see, there's this one. It's a bit wide, isn't it? I might just go that high. I think I will. Where's my ruler? Okay, we'll save this for another one. <laughs> not going to worry about giving it a distress beforehand. I'll do it afterwards, but okay. Now it would be good if we had a red, wouldn't it? I do have, do have some red. Have that. 
on that. Ooh, what's this? Ha ha ha. That might be perfect. And it is indeed. Okay. I think I'll just go kind of part way down that. There's a little white on the edge, but that will be distressed and you'll never know what's there. So this little jiggy joggy, I'm, I don't know if, I think I might just cover it up with a piece across there. Let's see what we might have to go across. I've got some pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that and then just fold it over a little bit. Yep. Put this back in the scraps. And this would be great because if you have a real pretty, um, geez, a real pretty journal card, it can go just right in there. I'm gonna go this way with it, I think. Oh, I wanted to line up here, and then fold it slightly over. Slightly is right. There we go. And then what I might do is put a little bit of a little bit of a divot in it. Okay. So we have pocket number one. Cute. I don't know, I think I might, if I have one that speaks to me, what like a little piece of washi down in here or something. Ooh, you know what might be fun is, hang on, hang on, hang on, is a little saying of some sort. Um, December magic. How about? Got Goober on me. I don't know about you, but when I sometimes when I try and line up to fussy cut, I get shaky. I don't know what that's about. Trying to be too, trying to be too perfect, probably. Okay. So, like, let's just put that right down there. I say yes to that. There. Okay, and that's a cute little pocket. Nice. All right. Now we could sew around that too, but I don't think I'm going to, but you could. If you want it, you could. Okay, this one feels like a wrap around the page one to me. So let's go ahead and collage it. And I think I want Santa on there. I have to 
cut off a few of his toys because he's, you know, he's at an angle from those other ones. But I think we can get most of him. Okay, well, that's a fun little scrap for to do something with. I don't know what. I'll stick it in my bag or in my little tray there. Do I want that just to cover that whole area? I just might. Why not? Let's go up to to the windows. Go ahead and take the white off of this before I throw it in my scrap basket. I always am so happy with myself when I do that because then you don't, as you're collaging, have to take time to <laughs> get rid of the border. Okay, so that will be over to the edge there. Wow, that's just right. Okay, and then we're going to take this off. And, oh boy, chopped her head right off. Sorry, honey. I apologize profusely for that. I think I'll ink this right here real quick. Okay. I don't know. I think part of the reason that I love Rachel's challenge so much is there's normally a little collage involved. And I just love it. I just love doing it. Okay. There's that part. Let's see what we have for skinny strips in here. Well, that's a tiny little one. Um, I'm looking. I know, I wonder about. Oh, not quite big enough. I just cannot chop off Mary's head. That just is not going to happen. Ooh, that's pretty though, isn't it? Um, how much too big is that? Quite a bit though. Shoot. Let's see what else we have. This one. Once again, really too big. I'm going to do this one. Might be slightly unrealistic to expect to find the exact right size. Okay, but how much of that is over? Quite a bit. You know, if I could handle the tear ruler, it would be helpful. It's all about the pressure, guys. All about the pressure. Okay. Whew. This is with a fun one, too, Rachel. As has every one of them been. I mean, it's just been so much fun. And I'm actually really proud of myself, both on Roxy's Weekly Challenge and Marguerite Miller, that I've actually done it every single week all year long. <laughs> feeling, 
feeling pretty good about that. Okay, so there's that. Now, I think we have some skinnier ones that could go. Yes. I think we'll go this way. Kind of go over that. Okay, got that one. Now we better have a red, don't you think, or something? Um, on the top, but that's okay. We'll get this down. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting kind of to the end of my glue stick, and it's starting to get hard to manage because it wants to fall out of the case, you know, how that goes. Okay, I'm thinking I need... I need something red up top. What? I knew I saw a red piece. That's too thick of a red piece. What do you like? You're good. You're just too wide. We'll just... We'll just... Oh, I can wrap it. I can wrap this. That'll be good. Okay. Five big pockets and two pockets, and we still have time. I just feel like these are great little quick sort of um, projects. There we go. Which is good because that'll be the top anyway. Okay, so now what do we have? Um, This one. Kind of like this one. And that could really wrap as well, couldn't it? And I think I'll go all the way down like that. Okay. Do you have love having these little strips to work with? Ooh, it's gonna be too long. So that's okay. You can just cut it off. All right, so there's that one, and I think I'm gonna wrap that around a page. So I think I will fold it like right about there. Like that, and I'm gonna take a little snippy out of the tops of the pockets. And a little snippy out of this side. And then we can go around the edges with our distress ink. I, this little girl in the corner kind of creeps me out, but you know, that's what happens when you're cutting up a collage <laughs> sometimes. You get something that you wouldn't wouldn't necessarily want. Could put a little piece of washi over her or something. Okay, so there's a double pocket done. 
So that's going to go on a page like so. Oh, I didn't even think about making sure that it was going to fit. <laughs> Whoops. Almost went too far. But I think that'll be fine. And then this one will glue on this side. Fun. Okay, did that. Um, should we do a long one? Let's do a long one. I'm going to not want this any more than, let's see, eight and a half, am I? So we're going to have another little snippet that's going to be eight and a half. Actually, I'm going to go a little less than eight and a half. Okay. I am going to give myself permission to throw those two away. Okay. So this is going to be like a side tuck like the other ones. I'm actually going to cut it down this way a little bit too, just so it's not so much of the page. Maybe cut it down an inch. Yeah, I think so. Okay, throwing that away as well. Okay, I think that will actually fit a bit better, like so. And then, boom, you can go in that way. Or we could put it on this side and you could go in the other way but I like this side only because this is thicker okay I think we can get this covered possibly in the time allotted I love that and we're going this way so we want to orient that way and that way I can get rid of Santa's feet I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like that and actually wrap that around kind of both ways okay That's okay. I'm just gonna cut that corner and flip these over. Okay. Cool. All right. Then we're back to stripping. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. it do with me I don't know oh boy oh boy okay we're back to covering with strips <laughs> don't worry I'm fully clothed doing this video oh man <laughs> such a goof okay All right, so there is that. Do we have a red strip? Oh, we have this, this pink bow, which could be kind of pretty. Oh, it's just so close. I think, I think it'll work. really like that. I think I might go down here though. I'll just wrap it. Okay. OK, 
Okay. like that all right and then we just need a little chunk um i mean i have this it's okay it doesn't thrill me beyond words Let's see what else we have in here this. Yeah, let's do that. So really not enough to fold over. I'll just trim it. Okay, so there's that one that can go along the side of a page too, I think. I don't know what it is about the long ones, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, sew around this one too. For some reason, these long ones, they're just saying to me they'd like to be sewn around. There is that one. Oh, I think that's going to be real pretty on a page. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I like it on a coffee dyed. And then whatever you put in it, long tag or something, have some sort of image right there. Love it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look at what we did this week. I feel like I have lots to put in the picture on Instagram. <laughs> so I just got to get them to quit curling so that they'll be okay. Okay, so there is that one. Isn't that so much fun? I guess you can see it pretty well. Um, we have this one. This one. This one. This one. Oh, that's striking. And last but not least, this one with the lace in the down it, which I like. Okay, and then we also have this pocket, which will be cute. And then this one that wraps around. So there you have it. That's Roxy's weekly challenge, week 44. I can't hardly believe it. So thanks everybody so much for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.